Hi, and welcome to another Beer for Breakfast ABV. I am Danielle from The Moke Show on 91X, and welcome to the last ABV of 2018. As always, I have my beer partner drinking crime with me, Paul Segura from Carl Strauss. Yes. It's been a great year of beer drinking. It has. It's been a great year of ABVs, and we're it capping has. it off with our friends on What's on Draft. We have Aaron from What's on Draft, and the Sexy Brewers calendar came out. You may recognize Megan from Modern Times, as well as Cover Girl from the Sexy Brewers calendar. And we also have Bill from Thunderhawk, who is inside of the Sexy Brewers calendar. How's it going, guys? Good. And uh, actually, great. Thunderhawk got in two years in a row. That's right. You did get to. <laughs> yeah. See, you, you, you weren't in it. Yeah. I was in the group in September mm -hmm. for Miralani Major. because you're so history. sexy. Mm -hmm. It's true. Just can't it's, help ourselves. You know. <laughs> put, put the stickers over the nips and everything. Branding. <laughs> <laughs> did that hurt, by the way? Uh, you know, a little bit. All right. a few hairs out. Right. Yeah, a little All bit. Right. A little bit. <laughs> Well, uh, before we started this, we um, knocked it off with uh, some modern times. Megan, what did you bring us? Um, City of the Sun is one of our winter seasonals. It's it's super citrusy. It's it's easy drinking. It has like a dry malt backbone. Mm -hmm. It's definitely one of my favorites right now. I have to say, I love well, I love a million things about modern times, but I love the fact that we just had Rex the Halls last week, and it was so easy to run from sports arena to modern times and back and forth the whole night long, and nobody even noticed. It was great. It was wonderful. <laughs> Oh, let's see. We're going to kick it off with some Thunderhawk. Bill, what did you bring? What is this? That is our Electric Youth. It is a coffee pale ale. We use a little Cascade and Pacifica for hops, but those don't really shine through much. It's all about the coffee. We use uh, lighter, ro lighter roast from Bird Rock Coffee Roasters. Mm -hmm. And just keep it light. It's a five and a half percenter. Uh, we try and have that on all the time as one of our staples. Cool. One time I, I drank this, a, a crowler of it, um, <laughs> to the dome, and I was like, this is great. And I'm like, wait a minute. And I'm like, it's 10 o'clock at night, and this has coffee in it. Oh, <laughs> so it's got, like, real, real coffee. Like, there's caffeine in this. Yeah, we haven't had it tested for how much, but we basically do a pound and a half uh, whole bean in the bright tank. And so finish beer, add the coffee, carbonate, rack off. I mean, that's just... Somewhere in between 50 to 100 percent, just regular 100 percent cold brew. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. We we did try mm -hmm. cold brew and adding that. We didn't like how it changed the body. It kind of watered it down. Yep. It wasn't concentrated enough, so we just did whole bean. Oh, I didn't even think yep. about that. Why well, not? I, we do the same thing. Mm -hmm. it I, works. I did see you add some cold brew into your imperial stat that we were drinking earlier well yeah that beer was like 10 percent so, <laughs> so you need to cut it out you need to cut is, it a little yeah, bit yeah just a little bit to um, get it down to five percent <laughs> yeah <laughs> well, bird rock i mean good choice on that they you know they kill it here in san diego they win international awards all the time with their coffee in fact i think multiple years they were voted like you know best micro roaster of the year for sure yeah and, and we're stoked to have them in our backyard here yeah super lucky and they tend to do lighter roast and going with a pale ale, want to go with a lighter roast as opposed mm -hmm. to something super dark that would go with stouts better. So, <sighs> Well, wow, and I nice get, job. you know, I get a bitter, but I don't get a pale ale bitter. I get, right. I guess, more of a coffee mm -hmm. bitter. Which is it's coffee forward. A little bit more of a mind. It's coffee of. forward, but it's got a pleasant fruitiness from the hop as well. I'm cool. digging Glad this. you guys enjoy it. Yeah, I like this a lot. Super clean, too. So we're winding Great down baby. the year with Thunderhawk. What do we have on the horizon for early 2019 to look forward to? Hmm. We have been talking about a little bit of expansion. We're just trying to figure out what the fit is and see where we can go next, what the next step is. Um, we need a bigger brew house being a one barrel. Mm -hmm. So so you're going to set it up to like a three? <laughs> Probably. Ooh, yeah. hey, you know what? That's that much more. That's a 300% increase. That's it huge. <laughs> so, yeah, we'll see. We've been talking about some expansion. Um once we get everything rolling in the next new year, we'll uh, we'll figure it out. But trying to get a little bit more distro, but um, see how it goes. Awesome. Well, thank you for all the hard work that you guys put into the community. Yep. Thank, you, always thank you. Pump out amazing beer, and you guys have great events also. Cool. Always thank you. doing something over there. So cheers to that. Thank you. We do also <laughs> have some barrels that we need to pull from. So oh, that'll be next year at some point. Well, you know, if you ever need some taste testers, Paul and I are there for you. Don't cool. worry. We can come help out. I would love some out. feedback. Yeah. We'll, help we take, have a we'll take one for the team. Absolutely. Saison and a Chardonnay. We have an Imperial Porter and a Rum Barrel. And we have two Templeton Rye blending barrels that Ooh, are dang. with an Imperial Stout. And then we got another 
15 gallon whiskey barrel from San Diego Distillery um, with a dessert dunkel basically. We did a dunkel vice with toasted caramelized pecans, toasted cocoa nibs, and vanilla. What? Wow. So a little variety, and we haven't pulled any of them. Those will be all next year. Nice. Ooh. All right. Keep yeah. an eye on 2019. It was nice when I was working at Intergalactic mm -hmm. to just like before work, just cruise over and be like, so what's up? Oh, you need me to test that? All right, cool. All right, I'm going to go to work now. <laughs> <laughs> so Aaron, um, this is your guys' second Sexy Brewers calendar, right? Yes, we took a, a hiatus mm -hmm. and, and we missed it. We, we missed it in 2017. We're stoked that you guys are coming back for 2019. Um, kind of for anybody that doesn't know about the Sexy Brewers calendar, what is it? What are the proceeds? What's the story behind it? Yeah, uh, well, the story behind it, uh, me and Tom, I got Tom a gig in the brewing industry uh, back in the day. Uh, and because he kind of wanted, we... He moved back down from LA to do this whole what's on draft thing and mm -hmm. we were trying to figure it out and he was like, well, I need to be legitimate. And I'm like, well, I need someone to lift heavy things for me. <laughs> <clears throat> He's like, cool, all right, I can do that. Anyway, uh, so we did a whole bunch of brainstorming and we did see like a version of this somewhere, mm -hmm. like a sexy brewer's calendar of whatever. And it was pretty tame, but it was real funny. Yeah. And we're just like, yo, let's roll with this. And obviously like, you know, give proceeds to charity and like just have a fun time. So the first year we did it, uh, Tom did as much research as he could and found probably like, I think like 90 or 95 cents of every one of your dollars like goes to the actual cause. Oh, that's wow, awesome. yeah, that's huge. Yeah, it's called Partners in Health. And one of the big things they do is like uh, mosquito nets. Cause like malaria pills cost money, mosquito nets don't. So oh. give mosquito nets to kids in yeah. Africa cuts down on cost and it's a lot easier administration and all that stuff. So we did that the first time, nice. but then um, tragically um, earlier this year, uh, Tom's mom uh, passed away, but she was an organ donor. And there's this awesome uh, local charity called Partners in Health that really helped out with that. Um, it's a, it's a, just an insane ordeal, mm -hmm. you know, that goes on. And so this company just, uh, this organization does a really good job uh, of just helping you through all of that. That's amazing. Um, yeah, and she was literally able to donate seven of her organs. Oh my God. Yeah, so she helped save like seven lives. Oh. That's super awesome. I read somewhere like the human, average human can donate 33 or something different organs. Um, seven seems like a, a huge number. I mean, right. Yeah, like, like, usually it's like one or two, right. you know, but like she was just super healthy in almost every way possible. And you know, it's just like tragic death, wow, but yeah. it then paid forward, and it was wow. it was awesome. So yeah, so that's where the money's going well, to this let's year. Let's cheers to Tom's mom. Yes, yeah. let's do that. Second, Kim Kalitnoy yes. was also my mom. I loved her to death. Mm. I wondered how do you pronounce that? Yeah, it's more like Kalit and Noy. Kalit and Noy. It's it's Hawaiian, so the double I is like a Kalit mm. and Noy. Mm. Like you literally pronounce both eyes, mm. like Kalit so, and Noy weird right on. and i'm not saying it right either sorry tom <laughs> that's say, the closest white like way the super white way that's I like get the it. whitest like the best whitest way to say it <laughs> <laughs> yeah uh, well mahalo yes for, there it for is. doing your calendar here there and you guys is. did something really smart by putting megan on the cover like that makes everybody very want to true very true it. yeah <laughs> um yeah that was the whole joke behind it all uh we we're just like wouldn't it be really funny to have a girl on the cover of anything that says sexy. <laughs> uh, and obviously it's male dominated. And so then every other picture inside or most every other picture inside would be just dudes also very sexy. Very much so, you know, sexy has no, has no limits. Yeah, real we brewers. We all find different things sexy. Real brewers have yeah. curves. That, that's a hashtag that we made up. <laughs> that is amazing. The humor is sexy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, no, I mean, it's, it's great and it's a great holiday we, gift for your mom. Right? True that. Yeah. Not for mine, but anyone else's. <laughs> Maybe your dad? My dad would probably like it. I don't know, <laughs> you know, I went, I went to one of the signings that you guys did and there were two women there that could have been our moms. They True. legitimately could have been our mothers. And they were just there to have beers, had no idea what was going on and thought it was the coolest thing and then came around to Wait. meet everybody, getting straight, signed. Straight up though, one of those two actually bought a calendar online and came to the event specifically to get it signed. I was like, did you just steal that? And she's like, no, I bought this online. I'm like, nice. That's well, that's amazing. rad. Like, that is cool. Yeah, and so her friend came, so her friend had no idea. But yeah, like these two old ladies were just like coming up to everybody, like sign the calendar. I'm like, 
Yes. It was awesome. The Cougs are going nuts over this. <laughs> this is awesome. They were more than Cougs, but yeah. yeah. Oh, yes. They're <laughs> yeah. through that. Well, shifting gears a little bit, um, Paul brought in the super amazing Carl Strauss beer. It is, what is this? The This is our ninth uh, installation of our 12 beers of Christmas. So this is called Nine Bonfires Blazing. Every year we do a different Christmas beer, and it's just kind of a silly thing we've always mm -hmm. done. Fun and creative and I don't know. It's super I, I, delicious. I like the play on words, but I like the beer better. True that. Thanks, delicious. man. Delicious. Thanks. It's kind of, you know, we always talk about it, don't drink with your eyes, but you want you want to look at this and think that it's a really light beer. Yeah, it's it looks hot. like it might be an IPA <laughs> or something, but you know, I don't Maybe know, we kind of stole the idea from like Naughty Sauce, you know. Um, it looks like it might be an IPA, but you smell it and drink it and it's like mm. a roasty coffee-like beer. So what happens it's when you guys get to all 12, all 12 days? Well, you know, there's a, it's a coincidence. There's 12 beers in a case, mm -hmm. and we encourage people to buy a case of each vintage. And at the end of the 12th year, there should be like one beer left of Parrot and a Palm Tree, and then, you know, 12. You have a genius sales and marketing team. Uh, I don't know, man. We just like I mean, to those, drink beer. Are those beers going to be good 12 years um, later? Um, so when we started the series out, our, our hope, our aspiration was that, you know, they would all be high-gravity beers, and as we gone, as we kind of got through it um, we started taking the gravity down a little bit because we knew we we're coming to the end of the series and um, some of the first I don't know four five six years they were all high gravity beers they were all like 10 percent beers they could but asking 10 12 years from a beer is it's asking a lot, a lot right a lot. Um, <laughs> so we don't know honestly I've, I keep drinking them each year with my nephews at Christmas time and so far they're all holding up okay nice but yeah, we'll see. I, I remember snagging some of the vertical from Stone a while ago, and like right at like twelve, like at, in o, oh, no, oh, 12. <laughs> in o twelve. You know. <laughs> in o twelve. Um, you know. No, and like, about. and I think like Let's I got like six, seven, eight, nine, and ten, and like I already had eleven and twelve. But like I, I went to this liquor store and it was just like, you have these, mm -hmm. and they're for the exact same price as what they were when you got them like five years ago. <laughs> I will take well, all of right. them. Yeah, but like there was a few that like were chunky. So. <laughs> yeah. no, no, that I'm, sounds so <clears throat> gross, by yeah. the way. Yeah. I Ew. think it was like a, I think I didn't know one of them was like a, that. it's protein. Yeah, yeah there was like a Saison, like I think there was a Saison that was really good, but like it was either like 08 or 07 that was just like, oh, oh God. I had no idea that beer could do that. Well, we're going to kick it off with this beer that is end totally it off. Uh, end ended it off, off, really. We're going to end it off because this is going to ruin our entire palate. So <laughs> this is what we want to end up, the uh, Double Dry Hopped Critical Band. Tell me about this, Megan. Um, it has uh, cryo, pellet, and whole cone hop citra in it. Um, it's just a, it's a double dry hop version of our regular Critical Band that's like one of everyone's favorites. Um, it's got like a really mellow bitterness, so it's not... It's not going to wreck your palate. Um, it's got a nice pillowy mouthfeel. The nose is beautiful on this. Yeah, it's like super tropical and really is stone fruit, citrusy. I fully mm. get the stone fruit from this. Oh wow! Yeah, I would drink this all day long. This is oh great. yes, that is delicious. Modern mm. Times is crushing it with their hoppy beers. Yeah, now. they are. So, what do you do at Modern Times, Megan? Uh, I'm an assistant brewer. Awesome. Uh, cheers to women in beer. That is amazing. <laughs> I'll drink to that. And uh, yeah. modern times, you guys are expanding exponentially, it seems. So there's you guys up in Phoenix, or not? I mean, up in Portland. Mm -hmm. You've got the downtown LA, right? Yeah. What else is going on? And you know, modern times domination. Yeah. So Encinitas is really new. It's also like a like a food spot too. Oh, nice. Um, that's crushing it right now. And then we actually just um, bought the building next door to Loma Land. And they just knocked that down. So if you if you drive over there and, and like have a beer, you can, can see that all the, the construction pacers, going on. Or no, what was the topless place? Or oh no no no, <laughs> <laughs> no it did was you put that place out of business? <laughs> <laughs> um, it was no, was I it, think a church bought that place actually. They did. Yeah, they, oh, they did. Right? yeah, a church bought that. Yeah, wasn't building. wasn't that like the property manager's office? Uh, I don't I don't know. It was some offices next door. It was great. They had like this going out of business sale, and uh, I was so jealous because one of my coworkers came over and they had like, you know that scene that like, um, 
that poker scene, like like the the photo, it was like a bunch of dogs playing oh, poker. Oh yeah! But it was like a 3D version. And I'm what? Like, <laughs> that was ex- <laughs> interesting. Judge. She's wow. like, I got this for five dollars next door, and I was like, I'm so jealous. That is awesome. <laughs> yeah. Well, in 2019, we'll definitely look forward to a lot of great things from modern times. Uh, thank you guys so much for making time to come and see us. Aaron, where can we buy these calendars if we haven't already purchased them? Uh, so online is pretty much the only way that you can buy them at the moment. Mm-hmm. Uh, we might do an event sometime in January to kind of like just clear out them, but mm-hmm. please do. But I don't. We don't have a lot left. Like we have like so less get on than a it. box. Print some more. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe. Well, so but this is the thing though. You want them to be in demand. You yes, want them to and, be in, and they were. We we did we did twice as much as we did last time around, and we're gonna sell out no problem. So that's awesome. A whole bunch of money is going to the charity, which is great. But yeah, like what's on draft TV, uh, you'll find it there. All the cougs, check it out. All the cougs, get on it. <laughs> I'd also suggest that you follow what's on draft on all social media because they're always posting up really fun clips. You never, if you are ever drinking beer any place, you never know you may find yourself in the background of numerous. I found myself in many episodes yes. Yes, you of have been. what's on draft. So uh, thank you so much, Aaron. Thank you, Bill. Thank you, Megan, thank for you. making time. Paul, thank you for another awesome year it's been of fun. beer and. Let's do this some more of this. Yeah, what you want to see you next year. Absolutely. Yeah, let's do it. It's yeah. pretty, Cheers. Pretty let's do this. I know. Thank you, guys. Cheers. Cheers, cheers, cheers. to local beer. Yes, yeah. cheers. And thank you so Drink much it. for watching another edition of Beer for Breakfast ABV. And thank you for a super awesome, amazing 2018. As always, this Friday, Paul's going to come on air and uh, end the year of the Moog Show with us and tell you what you should be drinking. So uh, cheers to good beer and thank you for everything. 91X.